Dwayne Lesnar here to talk about everyone's favorite topic in the cloud, Windows licensing. With NC2 on AWS, we have two ways to keep you under compliance with Microsoft. Let's dive in. The first option that we have are licenses included that gives us the ability using our on-demand instances, which we've been using since the beginning of our NC2 with AWS deployment, you'll see an advanced setting that you'll need to select to get this option. Um, you'll also notice that there will be an additional charge for the Windows licensing built into the instance cost. So some customers may decide to have one cluster for Linux workloads and another cluster or clusters for Windows workloads. Uh, you can mix and match the Linux ones, but it may make sense uh, financially to separate out the, the different workloads. And then we also have the ability to bring your own licensing. This is only for customers that have purchased their licensing before October 1st, 2019. Um, as we're aware, not everyone can meet this requirement and you should work with Microsoft to ensure that you're covered. And actually in some cases, you may have better contracts with Microsoft that allows you to do other things, but that is a situation to be dealt with Microsoft. The difference with this type of licensing, we have to use dedicated hosts. This also means as an NC2 customer, if you've been with us for a while, you're going to have to update your cloud formation script. So the cloud portal can get access to your environment. Now, the difference between the different host types, it's good to point out that the AWS has an attribute for EC2 instant tenancy, which really dictates, can your instance move around to different physical hardware? The on-demand instances are set to default, also known as shared, meaning that even though you have full access to your bare metal resources, they're still virtualized and can move around. This has been a great feature for things like Hibernate, which we support, that you can shut down your workload, send your data to S3, and then save not only the hardware costs, but also the Windows licensing. Um, and you know, even some customers having that ability to send their backup to S3 and then deploy an on-demand cluster. Um, so those, in the event of a power cycle operation, you're not guaranteed to get your same node back, but Nutanix is using rack awareness with this model to ensure that multiple copies of data are spread out through the AWS data center. So great for most workloads, but for bring your own licensing, we use the dedicated host, which is set to dedicated tenancy, meaning that even in the event of a power cycle operation, you will get the back the same host. So we can't support rack awareness with this feature, but it's okay because most times, you know, you're going to be ending up in a scenario where your data is spread out. Regardless, you're going to have multiple copies and you should have a backup regardless anyway. Uh, so it is mitigated and you can use features like cluster protect or DR your data to another environment or have backup going to S3. Um, and in this case, if you power cycle your cluster, you're going to get the same nodes back anyway. So let's dive into a demo of the NC2 portal for deployment. In our NC2 portal, we create our AWS cluster. We pick the region that we want to deploy into. So everything's the same there. And then we pick our AOS version. The NCI license is portable between on-prem and the public cloud. But on the advanced setting tab is where you're going to see the checkbox for a default or a dedicated host. It's important to 
make the right selection as once you deploy the cluster, you're not going to be able to change the settings. So default, and if you want to use the Windows servers included licenses, you'll check this box and AWS will handle the licensing. And then on the dedicated host, if you're gonna bring your own, you have that option. And then the rest of the deployment is like before. So pretty easy to give you both options for bring your own license or uh, buy new licenses from AWS. NC2 on AWS makes it easy to be compliant with Microsoft. And I would encourage you to check out your local NC2 specialist to help optimize your cloud and Windows licensing. We'll see you in the next video.